In my quest to have the smartest home on the block, I now have this. I introduce to you the world's first kettle with Alexa. It's a smart kettle that, check this out, boils water. Hello and welcome back to another video or just welcome. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing. I recently purchased the Alexa Swan smart kettle. Well, actually, I didn't purchase it. You guys did. After six months, I had enough commission from Amazon affiliate links to buy this, which at time of filming this video, cost 99 pounds and 99 pence for a kettle. Yeah, I know. So thank you. So thank you to each and every one of you that use my links to buy stuff. It is greatly appreciated. So now I will be having a brew in this for you. A brew for you, it rhymes. I know. So, knowing that a kettle's sole purpose is to boil some water, what's the point of a smart kettle? Well, I had this exact question myself and was one of the reasons I purchased this. But before we get onto that and how it does what it does, let me tell you a little bit more about it. That's right, I'm skipping the unboxing. Because I didn't film one. I was too excited to get this in the kitchen and use it. I didn't even keep the box. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. So this is an Amazon exclusive, by the way, which means as you've probably guessed, it works with Amazon Alexa and nothing else. But thankfully for me, Alexa is my best friend and only friend. Alexa, I love you. Thanks for saying I love you. It measures 19.5 by 19.5 by 26.2 centimeters and weighs, when it's empty, 1.64 kilograms. On the front is an LED touch display for selecting your heating options and using your finger the old fashioned way to turn it on. It is 1800 watts so it boils quickly, has a stainless steel inside with an insulated wall and holds 1.5 liters of water. In the box you get the kettle, the base unit for powering said kettle and some extractions and that's it. It's a kettle. What else can I say? Setup is about as easy as it gets. There are no third party extra apps needed, just the Alexa app. And seeing as it is Alexa only, you wouldn't have bought it if you didn't already have Alexa, right? Guess what? I've just realized all the audio and video of the setup is corrupt. So uh, it's a world exclusive. Here is Amazon directly to show you how to set up your kettle. Yay. Pairing your device is simple. Connect to the power to reveal the product power and set buttons. Press and hold the set button for three seconds. The kettle will flash and beep three times. The Wi-Fi symbol will then also start to flash, indicating that the kettle is ready to pair. Open the Alexa app and select the Devices tab. Select the plus icon in the top right-hand corner to add a new device. Select Add Device on the pop-up menu. On the next screen, scroll down to find Kettle and select this option. Next, select the Swan brand. The app will then ask for permissions to access your mobile device. Please read the section carefully and click Allow to proceed. Then click Next to connect the Swan Kettle. On the next screen, select Scan Barcode and using the camera, scan the QR code located on the product as shown. The app will then search for and connect to the kettle. This can take around a minute. Already discarded your sticker, giving your kettle pride of place? No problem. Simply select Don't have a barcode and follow the on-screen instructions. Once connected, you'll then be asked to select a Wi-Fi network. To secure a Wi-Fi connection, select the name of the relevant Wi-Fi network and input the password. The kettle has now been added to your Alexa account. Select Next to continue setup. On the next screen, you can add devices to a group such as Kitchen to control multiple devices at once. However, you can also skip this step for now. Your Swan Alexa kettle is now set up and ready to use. Within the Amazon app, you can then see the current status of the kettle, the current water temperature, the preset temperature for when you tell Alexa to just go and turn it on, and then you have options below this to reset the descale counter, turn on keep warm mode, or enable swan. And I have no idea what this does. Not a single clue. But what I do know is I can now say, Alexa, turn on the swan. As well as telling it the temperature. You can choose from 60, 85, 90, or 100 degrees Celsius. And it also has keep warm mode. And that's about the limit of the smartness of this thing. But 
it's not all just about the kettle. It's also about the ecosystem that this can now be part of. You can create your own personalized commands like, Alexa, I fancy a brew. What was that? Sorry, I'm not sure about that. She's not sure and I'm not sure. And with your own routines, you can now boil the kettle as part of them. So if you have a morning routine like me that opens the blinds, turns the lights on, plays music and reads me my daily tasks, it can now boil the kettle as well, ready for me to make my morning brew. Perfect, providing I've remembered to pre-fill it with water. Sadly, it doesn't seem to know if it has water in it or not. So be careful you don't turn it on, dry boil and blow it up. It would probably have been a good idea to include something like this. Would it have not? You will also notice there is no water level indicator. Not an oversight, it's purposeful to add to the sleek aesthetic design. Want to know how much water is in there? Well, lift up the lid and look. But that's not very smart, is it? Well, then check the level direct in your smart app. So if you have reached the epitome of laziness, like me, where you can't even be bothered to lift your finger to flick a switch, that could probably cause issues with other flicking as well, then this kettle is for you. What more can I say? I needed a kettle. I had Amazon credit from you guys, thanks. I like making videos and it was smart. In all seriousness, a hundred pound for a kettle for a lazy person is a tad bit extravagant and I would have no way purchased this with my own money, but it is fun, it is quiet, it looks good in my opinion, and it does boil very quickly, which is either saving me electricity because it's doing it faster or using more to do it. Hello, darkness, my... Anyway, if you miraculously do have more questions about this, then please do let me know in the comments box down below. And whilst you're down there, that's what he said, please do consider liking the video, even if you didn't, subscribing if you aren't already, and hitting the bell to get notified when I upload new videos, because it helps me get sent free stuff to play with, so I don't have to waste my Amazon credit on smart kettles. Thanks. Oh, and thank you for watching. Goodbye, internet. Put on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on